Welcome back. Today we're doing a seaplane discovery flight with my friend and mechanic Jim. We're departing to Various, Florida for a short 15 minute flight to Gator Joe's, one of my favorite seaplane accessible restaurants in the area. Be sure to support my channel by clicking on that subscribe button. Pretty much to idle at absolute pure idle all the time here. Good rule of thumb is under a thousand RPMs. We're gonna take off pretty much that way. I gotta get my seatbelt on still. There you go. I like to teach FT cars, which is flaps, trim, car beat, area, water rudders, and stick back. About six seconds down on that, and it should be about 20 degrees. Okay. Trim is always pretty good, right about the O, or, or about right there. Maybe right between the O and the okay. little triangle. Car beat cycle, which I wouldn't really worry about right now. Area, just clearing your runway. Your runway looks clear. We got a, a couple uh, butt wakes, which right. don't, don't seem to be a big deal, but it should be fine. Okay. Um, so right before you're ready to go, I want you to bring that water rudders up. But when you bring that water rudders up, your hand goes up, and I want you to go right into adding power. Okay. So stick back, so you're all ready for it. Stick back. Okay. Water rudders up, add power, stick 100% back. There you go. All right, there's your first rise. Second okay. rise is coming, just keep that stick back. Lots of right rudder. Now start letting the nose down while adding lots of right rudder. You get a lot of gyroscopic recession letting the nose down. Or it's a bounce a little bit from that boat wig, it's okay. Bring it down more. You push it down even. Oh, okay. Yeah, right about there. That's gonna be about your pitch attitude you're looking for. And just hold it right there. There's no rotation, the airplane flies when it's ready. Bring the nose up a little bit, tiny bit, lie right there. There you go, and we're up in the air. Now keep that note, pitch attitude about the same. We want okay. the airspeed come up. Right. Airspeed's up, do about three seconds up on the flaps just to get to 10 degrees. One, two, three. And we'll get to about 80 and then get rid of the rest of the flaps. Okay. So uh, let's just kind of go have a little fun here. We'll kind of keep climbing, heading towards Mount Dora. Okay. Once we get to about 600, we can start turning towards Lake Eustis to the north. I think you're probably pretty comfortable flying low, but yeah. I oftentimes have people go do some fun low flying first, just to kind of loosen them up, and they're yeah. not, they're not so nervous. I get some airline guys that come in here, and they're like, "Oh, my butt pucker's at 3,000 feet. If I'm any lower than that," <laughs> and I'm like, "Okay, well, let's go run this river at 20 feet then. Let's loosen that butt up." <laughs> I don't know if I'm that comfortable, but yeah. <laughs> That eastern shoreline of Lake Yale, there's no houses. Right. So I like to descend on down there, and we'll kind of do a fun little river run. Okay. Or, uh, not river run, shoreline run. Okay. And we can, we'll, we'll start at 100 feet. I'd like to see you get down 50 or 20 feet, something like that. Okay. But I always like to tell people, when you're flying low, I like to keep lots of power. Right. You know, at least keep 24 or 2400 RPMs. Okay. And when you make the turns, you got to add a little bit of back pressure so you don't lose that. Right. You don't lose that lift factor. Horizontal component of lift. Yep, exactly. All right, so let's look at the lakes and to see what we see here. Like, um, if you look at that lake, yeah, you see there's kind of a wind shadow on the north side of it. Yep. And not so you would assume the wind's coming out of the north, right? Okay. Which is a little odd because that's not what we had in the other lake. But you know, wind shifts. Looking at this one to the right of us, it looks kind of like it's coming out of the northwest a little bit. Yeah. It's always good to be constantly looking at it. Just yeah, understanding you know, where you are. If the engine fails right now, you're not looking right. around trying to find the wind. All right, let's start uh, pulse of power back and descending. That little cove right there, let's try to dive into that cove and just try to avoid being right over those houses. You can be over that grass and stuff. So um, so I want to dip down here. We'll kind of fly close to these trees on the water. Okay. Let's get nice and low. I want to be at least 50 feet. Okay. And then up there is that little island over there. Let's fly between that island and the shoreline. Okay. And then we'll kind of head west at that point. There's traffic going for this two. Right base landing northeast to the area approaching the ramp in two minutes. All right, that's great. <clears throat> Almost no wind. Let's let's get at least ten more feet lower here. Let's hug those trees and kind of make some fun turns. Trying to kill any geese. Yeah. Let's add a little more power here. Power is our friend in case we need to pull right. up and do something. And I, I always like to run this shoreline on my 30 minute tour. Yeah. You can either pop up and dip down again or you can make a hard left. Okay. I 
I didn't look at the hops. <laughs> oh, I thought that's what you were messing with over there. No. All right. So just don't buzz right over that boater. Want to clear the boater, let's crank it. Left 90 and let's climb up a little bit. At least 500 so we can clear those houses over there. What heading you want me on? West? Over there. Okay. <laughs> over there. <laughs> that cloud! <laughs> Man, it's glassy out today. Yeah, it is. Really glassy. Guess we'll get to do some glassy stuff. Let's kind of head towards the Oklawaha River right over there. That's Lake Griffin, there's the Oklawaha. Right. I like to kind of come in just the north end of Lake Griffin, dip on down, get nice and low, and then we will run through, we'll kind of slalom some islands. Okay. And we'll get, again, 10 to 20 feet off the water, okay. whatever you feel comfortable with. All right. So let's make a hard left and kind of slalom these islands. Okay. You want to go over them or around them? I want you to be over the water slaloming the islands. Okay. <laughs> As long as there's not a boater. Yeah, there's kind of a boater in our way. Yeah, it's not buzzing then. Let's get low. Okay. Get lower. All right. Sure, nice three or four feet. This is good. Okay. Let's kind of keep cruising along here. So you can kind of see it's getting a little more glassy, so it's probably a little less wind here. Back yeah. in little splotchy areas. Make a little bit of right turn. Let's start climbing up here. Just you okay. only need to get to two, three hundred feet. And if you look to the right, when we get up a couple hundred feet, you'll you'll see this glass field. I used to always <clears throat> rip it up this river, so I'll kick it to the right. And I, I was so low, but I always figured, well, worst case scenario, if I have an engine failure yeah, right here, yeah. <clears throat> I can go right into this guy's grass. Yeah, that's field. that's the that's the that's the property. There's yep. they built new hangars out there. That's uh, that, there's like three houses they built on that lake, like million dollar homes. Oh yeah, over here. Let's, let's keep following this. Let's get down low. Oh, okay. Let's do a little more running around the okay. river. Okay, so we're at 200 feet right here. You want to stay what? Yeah, let's get right here. Okay. Let's just kind of make a couple fun turns here. I just always enjoy flying over the river. Yeah. Oh, you'll see horses running up and down here. Oh, that's cool. Flying like a fighter plane now. Yep. So after you, when you start making this left turn, let's climb up and head a hard 90 to the left. Okay. Big cat. Yeah. So you want me to be on a northwest heading? At like 100 feet, you'll see the lake we're going to. Okay. We just need another little more altitude. I, I think it's like a right over there. I think it's just slightly to the left. There's some water peeking out over there. Yep. Talking about that lake right there? Yep, that's okay. it. That's Lake Weir. So we got Eaton's Beach on the south end, and we got Gator Joe's on the north end. Okay. Let's see how glassy this is, if there's well to go set up for a glassy landing here. Alright, so it's a... Uh, it's gonna be a little glassy. We can dip on down like 200 feet. I always like to go fly over it. It's on that north shoreline, we'll go for, fly by it. And okay. We'll make sure there's a place to beach. If not, we'll go check out the other place to get lunch at. So to the right, they kind of see those copper roofs. Yeah. That's Gator Joe's. Okay, start turning left a little bit here. Okay. Let's start working some flaps in. Okay. Once you get slowed down here. Get that nose up and slows down just a little bit. You can see some ripply area over there. We'll land over there. That way it's not so glassy. Okay. Let's make another 30 degrees to the left here. All right, so let's start going to full flaps. Okay. Yeah, the beach is open. We'll be good. Okay, we'll land straight ahead here. Okay. Pull that power back and keep driving it on down. There's gonna be a tiny bit of wind, but it's almost negligible, so I won't even worry about it. Let's keep bringing that nose up gently, just that pitch out right about there. That's about the right spot. Airspeed's looking good. Kind of just hold it off and bring a little. There you Ooh. go. A little right, a little right aileron because we have a little time, but there you okay. go. Okay. So a little bit of a bounce. That was fine. Keep that, keep that back pressure. In. You just want okay. to keep the. You just don't want a little nose bury in there. Got you. All right, we're on the water. Let's kick those flaps up. Okay. Can just kick them up like that. And then drop the rudder so we got some steering. Okay. Uh, left turns are easier than right. You know why? So let's just go left, turn back around. Okay. Where you want me left, right? You'll be on the left side. 
where the volleyball net is. Uh. Yeah. Yep. Okay. The right side's the swimming side, so like boats Got over hit. there. Where you All want right. me to cut the power? Um, a little bit. Let's hold on for another 15 feet, though. Is good? Yeah, I cut it now. And just kick it right just a little bit. I always hate when boats show up. They just put one in the middle. And it's like, man, if you were on any side, I'd be able to get in here, but... And then go ahead and pull those water rudders. Good. Oh. Well, we're there. Master Mags. That's much. All right. Thanks for making it to the end. Be sure to like and subscribe to support my channel. And remember, I randomly pick one lucky subscriber to receive a free lunch flight on me on the first of every month. So what are you waiting for? Click that subscribe button and come fly with me.